Yeah, we're looking forward to two very competitive matches this weekend. Uh, Northwest Nazarene is a, a very big team, again, defending GNAC champs. And uh, they struggled a little bit in the preseason, I think, because they had a new, uh, a new setter. But uh, it looks like right now that they are on stride and doing very well. And then Saturday we have a very tough Central Washington uh, team who uh, I think leads the country in blocking. So uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a challenge for us, and we hope that we can step up to the plate and uh, play play very good volleyball. You and your, uh, you and your ladies seem to be um, just very consistent when you're supposed to win sets, so or when you're on the cusp of winning a set. Um, there's no drag anything. You, you and your ladies are able to just complete that. Can you just talk about the consistency. You know, this year we have been, offensively, we've been more consistent than we have been in the past. Um, you know, from game to game and uh, from match to match. So hopefully, you know, we can keep doing that. And, uh, you know, I don't know what to attribute it to. Maybe because we have some upperclassmen on the team, upperclassmen, junior setter, and then three seniors that are, are hitters for us. So um, hopefully that's maybe part of the reason, and uh, ho hopefully it continues. Well, you know, season to season consistency, too. I mean, now you look at... And then you, I mean, they, I mean, their overall record is pretty good. But uh, you know, last year they were the best team in the, in the region. And uh, so, do you kind of appreciate that the fact that you guys have been consistently good from year one to year eight? I mean, it seems like other teams go up and down. You know, it seems like you're uh, yeah, you know, we've been uh, pretty fortunate to uh, have good players, and uh, you know, we. Uh, I don't know. We do this. We have the same system. We do the same thing year after year, and try and recruit the best players that we can, and, and try and keep the best Alaskan players in the state. Uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of that, and yeah, we're very happy that we're able to qualify for the NCAA tournament. Even though we haven't won a lot of GNAC championships, we have gone to the NCAA tournament, and uh, that's always a, a bonus at the end of the year. And coach first, and Caitlin second. Uh, not gonna hard bond on on the streak and then the, and the hot starter hot start and everything but not just here but have you ever as a player as a coach ever had a winning streak like this well honestly uh at western nebraska community college yeah we um i think we lost the the year that we won the national championship we only lost one match and that was in october so um i think we were 54 and one or something like that so you know, I have, uh, we have, I have done that before with a previous team, a junior college team, which isn't quite the same as, you know, NCAA Division II. But, um, yeah, the, you know, the pressure maybe is a, a little bit better. But I think we're using that, um, you know, we're using that excitement. We're using that in practice. We're hopefully using it to, um, you know, have, bring that enthusiasm into practice, and that makes us better players. Okay. And Caitlin, just... Uh S same question to you. Ever been through a winning streak like this? Uh, I mean, yeah, in high school, we my senior year, we didn't lose a set ever. I mean, but obviously, like Coach said, it's not the same as college, so this is a great thing that we're be able to win consistently through the last 14 games. Any feeling of, I mean, during this streak, any feeling of, um, I guess, desperation of trying to make sure it happens or you just focus on the match itself? Um, that um, no, I mean, I just, I honestly believe that when we play our game, see what volleyball that we're not, we're going to do what we need to do and we're going to come out with a win. So, I mean, desperation never really comes to my mind. I think we're going to lose this game. I just think that, I mean, if we start rough, I know that we're going to turn it around and get the win. Well, how do you think um, the, your, your younger players have um, played so far this season in terms of having to step up in um, certain moments? <laughs> um, they've done a great job. I mean, it's really hard to come in as a freshman and be playing, but they've all improved a great job and they've all stepped up when they get put on the court and they just keep playing like they've been playing for years with us. Is, uh, is it extra motivation at being Northwest Nazarene or is it just kind of another game? I mean, obviously it's always, it's always great to play at Northwest Nazarene. They're always a great team and since they're obviously the defending GNAC champs, it brings a little more fire to the game. Um, it's a great feeling. It's great that people from all over Alaska, young kids, older people, are hearing about us and want to come watch us play. It's great that we're setting that good example for Alaska. You being a hometown girl, does that help as well? Just having everybody. I mean, I know people always come to see you, but knowing that there's more people and more Alaska.
Haskins on the team as well. I mean, yeah, it's great. It's great that younger girls in high school can see that you can come from a small place like Alaska and come to a great program at UA or anywhere you want to go. Yeah, I've actually thought about that this week about, you know, we do practices at the schools to get used to the gym, but it's great that we've already gotten to play four games at that gym, four successful games.